Hi, everybody. Diamonds by Tita here. Thanks so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. This is take two, because can you hear my dog doing the zoomies? Um, she got went outside and got soaking wet and came in and was running around like crazy. Um, I hit the um, camera holder and knocked it cattywampus, so I thought I'd, I'd better start over on this. Um, that's just kind of how stuff goes. So anyway, um, welcome guys. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, if you are brand new, welcome in. And you, if you are returning, welcome back. I'm so glad that you came back. And um, we're going to go ahead and start. So what I'm doing is I am working on my Rainbow Lady. And this is called the Rainbow Queen that you can get at the one with the diamondart.com. Uh, this is licensed art, and I believe, I can hardly read the name, it's really small. It's Laura at Coco Marshmallow dot, dot net. Yeah. I will, I will link, I'm having a hard time reading that, but I'll link that in the description if you're interested um, in this. And um, this painting is for Diamond Painting Bewitched Cat's Rainbow Lady event that she's doing. And let me just show you. I am doing these beautiful ABs here. And this is color lowercase f. So if you want to do this event, um, you can uh, either email her or drop her a comment in one of her videos. She will also be doing, probably kidding up or doing one of these videos very soon as well too. Um, so this is gonna be fun. And Kat, I, as you can tell, I've changed my mind. I was gonna do the same one that you were doing, but then I changed my mind and I decided that I wanted um, to do this one. So, this, I'll tell you, I am struggling a lot with the symbols. There are lowercase f's and then a, um, a parenthesis in the same color, and they look very, very similar. So I am going really slow to make certain that I am placing these in the, in the right spot. I will be glad when I'm done with this so that I can move on to another section where I can read it better. I've only had one other canvas that I really struggled on clarity. Um, I mean, I may have to even get out like a magnifier to see if that would help. But that's okay. Um, I will switch to a different color soon anyway. So how's your days been going? Today is Saturday afternoon here where I'm at. Is the weather bad? I'm hearing bad weather all over the country. I know where I live, we have lots of rain. But to the north of the state, I'm hearing reports of um, ice and snow and really, really cold weather. Like wind chills down into the teens. That is really cold. I mean, that is super cold. Um, so I hope wherever you're at, you are warm and safe and hopefully maybe um, baking a batch of cookies or diamond painting or doing some sort of craft or reading a book um, and trying to stay warm. Oh, there's another one of those little Fs. These are just, they're just kind of little sneaky boogers that are just hidden in here. This is really slow going, guys. So today, I, um, my sister and I went to um, a church luncheon, a ladies luncheon. That was fun. I made some mean manicotti, or I guess it was stuffed shells because Walmart didn't have the manicotti shells and that's okay. The stuffed littler shells work out just fine. 
Um, so I had a good time, enjoyed that. Um, that's really like all that I've done. I mean, I, I baked it, you know, I made it and baked it this morning so we could be there at about 11. And, um, yeah, I'm not doing anything except staying in and trying to stay dry. I mean, I even, um, drove my car down to the mailbox, which literally is like four houses down and a little bit around the corner because I didn't want to get, I didn't want to walk down and get soaking wet. So that was kind of crazy. Um, what are you guys all working on? What diamond paintings are you working on? Or are you doing other crafts? Doing cross stitch or are you doing coloring or um, crochet or knitting? I wish I learned how to knit. Don't know how to do it. I think that, I think that is, oh, no, there's one more F. See, I knew it. Oh, no, I got a couple more. They're just so hard to see. I can't tell the difference, but I think I got it. Oh, one more. No, oh, one more. Keep, keep saying one more. Actually, those are both F's. I'm going to do a different color. Lots and lots of confetti. I'm going to do W that I can see well. Those F's were difficult. It's a beautiful AB, though. I'll show you the next color, too. It's going to be in a blue. And that W is... 23. Or I prefer to paint by symbol for certain. That's why I, when I kitted up, I made my own little stickers. I'll show you. I took, I took this, the packing slip, and I photocopied it onto a label, and it comes off really easy. And if you guys ever get a sticker on something and it doesn't want to come up and it wants to leave all that gummy stuff on the bottom of it. The e this is the easiest hack that I've found is heat up the sticker with your hair dryer. And then it comes right up and normally, I mean, I, I can't guarantee it, but at least for me, usually it doesn't have any of the gummy stuff. So that's my little hack for you on that. So we're doing this beautiful blue. And this is W. Yeah, I um I would watch a lot of YouTube. And I watch a lot of different content of YouTube. Of course, all my diamond painting and cross stitch and crafting and all my friends. You know, of course I am watching all of that. Um, but before um, I started watching all that. I watched a lot of um, Japanese YouTube, um, pretty much all with subtitles in it. And they, um, the ladies that I watched, usually had really helpful hints um, for like storage ideas in your home or hacks, you know, like that with the hair dryer and the label. Um, money saving ideas. Um, they had great stuff. Um, and my, where I'm going with this, cause you know, I always have a story and I always have a squirrel thought. Um, they have a dollar store over in Japan that's called Dezo. And there is an American Dezo online, but it is to me, at least from the little bit that I've seen. Granted, I've never been in one, um, but they have amazing stuff. 
And I just found out that they're gonna be putting in a Dezo store in my town. And I am super excited about it. I cannot wait. So if you guys have a Dezo in your area, let me know and let me know what you think. Um, I would love, I would love, love to hear about it. Hear about any of your experience with it. Um, yeah, so that is my little bit there that I, that I watch. Um, they also do a lot of cooking. I mean, authentic Japanese cooking. Um, and some of, like, some of the vegetables and things like that I'm not familiar with. I don't even know if I would be able to get some of it here. Um, maybe, I mean, we have an Asian market, so maybe I would be able to get it there. I'm not certain. But anyway, um, that is fun to watch. And, um, oh, I'm totally forgetting. I'm forgetting the big news. Um, and not everybody always watches the whip, whip and chat. So if you guys are still with me, that's awesome. Um, I want to thank you all, um, very, very much from the bottom of my heart because I hit 2000 subscribers and I am, I am like over the moon. So happy. I am, I'm thrilled beyond words and I, like I said, I couldn't have done this without you guys. So um, again, I just want to give you um, a big thank you, a huge thank you. Um, and I'm just going to just talk briefly on it because I'll do another video. Um, but nowhere in my wildest dreams in doing this would I have ever thought that I would have 2,000 subscribers. Um, so I'm glad that you enjoy my channel. I'm, I'm, I'm glad. Yeah, I'm really happy about it. I'm trying to think of some different things that I'd like to do. I mean, I'm considering doing a live. And I guess I'm even considering maybe showing my, my face. Should I show my face? Oh, I don't know. Um, but I'm even considering that. Um, so there's a lot of things that I am thinking about. Um, but of course, you know, time's always a constraint, right? But anyway, just just briefly again, um, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Um, you guys mean the world to me. Um, each and every one of you are so important to me, and I care about all of you, and um, I thank you. Okay, so that's my little mini gush. I will gush on you guys more. Um, on another video. I will also have some sort of some sort of um, celebration. Don't know exactly what, but um, I will figure out some sort of celebration for us. All right, so. I am still working on these W's. And you know, I know I'm going very slow because I'm single placing because I can't walk and chew bubble gum at the same time. I watched another creator this morning. Oh, she made me so happy because she can sometimes struggle talking and doing a whip and chat too. Because I felt like, oh man, I'm not the only one that sometimes struggles. So, um, I don't know if you are creators and if you ever struggle with whip and chats, trying to pay attention to what you're doing and talking, because sometimes it's hard. Or maybe it's just sometimes it's hard for the squirrel in my brain to keep up with everything. So, so that is that on that subject. And I'm not gonna have this be a really long um, whip and chat. 
because I actually have got some other filming that I need to do too. Um, and I've got some editing I need to do. And oh my goodness, do I have some housework I need to do. The dog has tracked in muddy footprints all over. And I definitely need to get that cleaned up. And I've got my dishes, they're all washed, but I need to get them put away. So I will do that. Oh, there's another little W. Yeah, I'm gonna get this whole little section done, I think. So now, in the words of Lazy Retired Granny, I am a multi-whipper, which means I've got multiple whips I'm going and a whip is a work in progress. I don't think I have as many as Becky's diamond Becky's diamond bling. I think she still probably has the most. Um, although, oh my gosh, guys, you won't believe this. Um, my sister wants me to do a painting for her. And uh, she picked out a diamond art club. She picked out uh, the War Pony. And I, cause the War Pony just came back in stock. And I think it is, it's just an absolute um, beautiful horse. And thank goodness, it's a little bit on the smaller side for Diamond Art Club anyway. And it's around. So I think it should go a little bit faster. So that was good. So I've picked out that, or she's picked out that. So that will be coming. I think, because Diamond Art Club ships from Texas. So usually it takes probably about a week to get to me. And I know with the weather, things are probably gonna take even longer. And don't be surprised if stuff that is shipping from China is gonna take longer too, because it's my understanding, and maybe I'm wrong, please correct me if I'm wrong, but what I was reading was for Chinese New Year, their factory shut down for two weeks before Chinese New Year, and then they shut down two weeks after Chinese New Year. So our things might be delayed if you are ordering from China. And um, let's see. That's kind of like all the updates, you know, I really have. I am not even really watching anything on TV, really. I'm kind of, I'm waiting for the new season of Ghosts to come out, and I think they're coming in February. So I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm, I'm this is kind of a, this might be kind of a little bit of a boring whip and chat. I really haven't talked about too much. I mean, we're at 18 minutes. I'm going to go just a couple minutes more, I think. See what else my little squirrel brain can can think of. I am um I am trying to get not really spring cleaning, but I'm trying to clean out stuff and sell stuff that I'm not using anymore. So I'm going to try to put some stuff on Facebook Marketplace to see if I can get rid of some of that. So that is going to be helpful. But it's always so hard, you know? You kind of have to get it out, take the pictures. I shouldn't complain. I should just do it, right? <coughs> yeah, so I need just to get that going. Be nice to have a little extra money. Oh, 
I did have some really good news. Squirrel thought. Squirrel thought going from cleaning stuff out, spring cleaning, <coughs> you know, getting rid of stuff to um, my Tad's wedding ring. But this was super, super happy, happy news. Um, my, when my dad passed away, my mom wore his wedding ring on um, a gold chain. Well, she wore it for a while, but she never really liked necklaces, so she didn't want to wear it anymore. Um, and so she put it in her purse. But the retirement home that she lived in, um, they stole a lot of stuff. Um, we know for a fact that money was stolen. We know for a fact that my dad's 50th wedding anniversary watch was stolen. There was a lot of stuff stolen, which is really sad, super sad to take advantage of these elderly people. And then they would try to blame it on like dementia or that they're not remembering. And let me tell you, mom, even up to the day that she died or to the day that she was still um, conscious, uh, she was smart as a whip. She did not have dementia. She did not have any of that. So anyway, what this poor little lady would do is that she would carry her purse around with her all day in the apartment because the caregivers can come in at any time. They have keys. And um, she couldn't see. She had macular degeneration really bad and was... Uh, legally blind. I mean, she, I mean, she couldn't see the big E. She could see like fingers in front of her face and that was about it. But anyway, I'm getting, I'm digressing. So I told her, I said, I said, mom, I said, you can't, you can't be clutching your purse, you know, like this. Why don't we give it to, um, to my brother because he has a safe. I said, give it to, you know, give it to my brother He'll put it in the safe. It's going to be for safekeeping and we'll have it. Well, um, he did that. And then when they, my brother moved up here, they couldn't find it. It wasn't in the safe. They couldn't find it. So we thought that the ring and the necklace, you know, was gone. Luckily, mom had already passed, so she didn't know that we couldn't find it, which was good because it would have broken her heart if she knew that. Well, they were cleaning out stuff and they found a box in one of the closets and lo and behold, it had the ring and the necklace. So it is safe and sound and I am absolutely over the moon, happy that we have it and it is not lost. And um, so that's my little bit of happy news. And uh, let's see, I think that's really kind of about it. Like I said, I'm gonna keep this on the short side because I just wanted to get this painting started um, I also need to be working on my Twilight Flight. Um, I'm finishing up, uh, what's that called? The Diamond Dots one. Where is that painting? Do I have it near me? Hang on a second. I don't have it near me. Um, or do I have it near me? No, I do not. Um, the Farmhouse Cottage, whatever the Diamond Dots one is that I'm working on. Um, so I need to work on that one. So I have a lot to work on. Um, and I'm hoping I can have a finish soon. I think the farmhouse cottage, probably a few days if I can really work on it um, and spend a little bit of time. And um, this one definitely is gonna be, this one is gonna be very slow going. I think once I get into the pinks through here, 
I can see that there's going to be um, multi-placing for lines. Um, this will probably be go be going quicker. But this blue, um, the drill field is just, um, I'm not quite certain how to describe it. It's just muddy. Um, even with this light pad, it's just, it's difficult to read. So I'm hoping when I get into the pink, it won't be as difficult. But I can tell you, this sure is going to be gorgeous when it is done. Um, even though it may be slow going, I think I'm just going to have to try just to enjoy the process. And sometimes that's hard to do, especially when you want to get something done, right? You get kind of anxious because you want to get it hung up or you want to give it to someone. Yep, it's always a little bit hard. And I want to get, the other thing I want to do is I really want to get cross-stitching. I've got a couple <coughs> little projects that, again, I probably only need like a, maybe an hour to do the back stitching. So I can get that done um, and show you a finish. And then there's actually a couple bigger projects that I would like to do. Thinking about maybe just getting a calendar and setting aside time. You know, I'm gonna to try to work two hours today on this project or try to get a little bit more organized. But that's, I think that's about it. I think, um, don't really have any more. Oh, I can just do this one. Let me just do, oops, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know why the rain makes me cough, but the rain makes me cough. We do these last couple here. And I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you have a nice rest of your day or evening, wherever you're at in the world. Or I should say, whatever time zone you're in, right? Um, take care. Happy diamond painting. Happy crafting. Remember, you're perfect exactly as you are. And you don't have to be perfect to be amazing. And do one thing today that your future self will thank you for. And I took all of my medicine again again today and I did my dishes right away I didn't leave them in the sink which makes me very happy right now because all I gotta do is put them away so you guys take care um, and if you do want to work on rainbow lady get a hold of diamond painting bewitched cat and go ahead and start um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun time so thanks a lot guys bye everybody